hey guys and welcome to my channel thank you for stopping in it is a very gloomy day today here so i am actually out and about trying to find more halloween stuff so i figure why not bring you guys with me do a shop with me video we're gonna go to home goods maybe five and below and michael's so that's the trip for today if you're interested in this shop with me then just stay with me <music> The first stop was Home Goods. If you've watched my previous videos, you've heard I'm looking for Halloween stuff. I just think I'm a little too late for it. A lot of places have gotten rid of their fall and Halloween. But at this Home Goods, I was actually really surprised that all of the Ray Dunn they still had left over for Halloween, for fall. There was just a ton of it still. So that was a happy surprise, but I really don't need any more Ray Dunn. So most of that stayed on the shelf. They still have plenty of pumpkins made of different materials, of different colors. Again, more Ray Dunn, tons of Ray Dunn. I couldn't believe how much was still left over. I really like those gnomes, uh, but I just didn't have anywhere to put it, and I was looking for more orange or black or white, because again, I'm going for the theme of Nightmare Before Christmas, so I'm trying to keep it black, white, hints of orange in there. The next couple of aisles were actually Christmas. Christmas. Already. It's unbelievable. A lot of write down of Christmas too. I was surprised about that. This was just one end shelf of write down Christmas and then here was the second shelf of write down. I don't need any more Christmas so those stayed on the shelves. Just like most home goods, plenty of Disney dishes, Disney mugs, um, there's a Snoopy in there. They did have a lot of these carts. I know people use these for crafts, for storage. They did have um, plenty of those. More Ray done for your pets if you have any. I did find this. Uh, it's for your laptop, you know, to work on if you're sitting somewhere. My husband likes the Mandalorian, but I just, I didn't like it, so I put that back. Of course, I checked out the pillows. They always have great pillows in home goods. I didn't love this you know, glittery uh, spider, but didn't go with the theme of things, so that went back as well. More Christmas, more Christmas, and more Christmas. I'm just so not ready for the holidays. Anybody else, are you ready for the holidays? So, we started to get in line, and then, of course, I found something else on my way to the cash register. <laughs> Paid for the things at Home Goods. And by that point, it was starting to pour down rain. But I went ahead and walked over to Five and Below. I should have drove. Five and Below was pretty bare. Uh, the main section that they had a lot of Halloween stuff was in the pet section. They had some of these cute uh, color bandana sets. This one said Official Candy Inspector, which applies to our dog Thelma so well. I looked at these phone puzzles. Our little uh, boy, he loves Blue's Clues. So I thought about that. And actually did grab that for him. They have out their scarves and their hats already getting set up for the fall and winter months. They did have a good selection of pillows still left over. No Halloween. Uh, this one was incredibly soft but I have plenty of fall pillows so again left without that. Then as I was walking back to the car there was this Halloween store there. It looked like they were just setting up for you know, costumes and decoration. I'm looking for something for a little KD. And this was kind of the small selection for toddlers and kids. Mostly Toy, uh, toy Story and of course Disney. Then next up, Michaels. I was hoping to find a good portion of Halloween here. Instead, I ran into some more Christmas. They had their Christmas ribbons out already. They had out a lot of their DIY stuff which looks really great. Here was their section of Halloween. Um, I did like a lot of these things, but it still just didn't go with the theme of the Nightmare Before Christmas. Plenty of blacks and whites though. Definitely uh, enjoyed looking at 
what they had available. I did like these two chandeliers, or these candelabras, sorry. Um, one was white, one was black, but I still didn't pick those up. My main reason for coming to Michael's was not just for the decorations, but I'm looking into some uh, bullet journaling items, you know, some stickers, pens, you know, restocking the pens and pencils and getting the bullet journal and just getting ready to start my uh, fall bullet journal. So that's what I had. That's what I was leaving with when I was heading out. Next up, TJ Maxx. I figured since I was out, TJ Maxx was around the corner. I just took a quick, quick stop over to TJ Maxx. I did find their fall section. Again, it just not a whole lot going on, so I started to get a little discouraged. More way down, of course, was still left over. It looked like a lot of Thanksgiving stuff they were setting out. Of course, more mugs, more Ray Dunn. Both TJ Maxx and Home Goods were really stocked with Ray Dunn. I couldn't believe it. It's normally so difficult to find Ray Dunn around where I live. I finally hit the Halloween jackpot in the far back corner of the store. I was so excited. I was hoping they would have uh, something at least to go with the theme. And they did have a few pieces. Still, right on. All the dog toys you could think of sitting around. There were these little ghost candy dishes. Another Ray Dunn piece. It was just a really good stock at TJ Maxx this guy they had two of them and he's hard to find so i was able to grab one of him after that i just checked out and headed back home for the day i hope you enjoyed today's video of this shop with me if you liked it give it a thumbs up hope to see you next time